Tonight we began in Newport News, where the former assistant principal of Rich Neck Elementary School is indicted on multiple charges of child abuse. Documents say Dr. Ebony Parker showed a reckless disregard for human life. And Parker resigned days after a first grade teacher was shot by her six-year-old student in January of last year. Our Michelle Wolf joins us from Newport News with what she's learned and what the filing shows. We were told the unsealed documents will not be released until tomorrow. Former Rich Neck Assistant Principal Dr. Ebony Parker was charged with eight counts of felony child abuse. The charges were filed in Newport News Circuit Court on March 11. Each of the lawsuits seek $3 million in damages as well as other punitive damages. Attorney Emily Knapp Brannon represents several Rich Neck families filing these eight charges and told us in part these charges suggest that there is sufficient evidence that the students of Rich Neck were placed in peril by the very hands entrusted to protect them. For the first time in over a year, the families may find comfort in knowing that the administration is being held accountable. 10 on your side sat down with Brandon three months ago as she explained the chaos inside Rich Neck on January 6, 2023, after a six year old shot his teacher, Abby Werner, and the events that followed. All of that could have been prevented with one phone call prior to the shooting itself. Parker resigned from her position as assistant principal 19 days after Zwerner was shot. Zwerner's attorneys allege Parker was warned three times the student had a gun, but failed to call 911 or put the school on lockdown. This tragedy was entirely preventable if the school administrators responsible for school safety had done their part and taken action when they had knowledge of imminent danger. But instead, they failed to act and Abby was shot. Zwerner's attorneys told us today these charges are very serious and underscore the failure of the school district to act to prevent the tragic shooting of Abby Zwerner. The school board continues to deny their responsibility to Abby, and this indictment is just another brick in the wall of mounting failures and gross negligence in their case. Ten on your side has made several attempts to contact Parker and was unsuccessful. Court records currently have Parker listed as a fugitive. If found guilty, Parker faces up to 40 years in prison. In Newport News, Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.